So hi everyone, I'm here with Zeus, the manager of SK Gaming. We just won the second major in a row. It was amazing. It was a really uh, impressive. You just raped Liquid in the, in the final. It was a, it was a really, really impressive on those two on those two maps. We're gonna get back on that. But first of all, you arrived in that team like eight months ago with FNX and Taco, and uh, you a bit before that, Luminosity was. Quite a good team. There are some results, but they they're, they're one of the best team in the world as we as we you are now. And uh, so, how much how much did you change the luminosity way to work uh, with Taco and Phoenix? And uh, how did you get those results in this year? I mean, when we came onto the team eight months ago, as you said. The team was really good. They had always been legends at majors. They were doing well, but they still. The team wanted more. They wanted to go into finals and have that competitive edge. And the, the Fallen has a methodology to work and how he likes to do his work that just wasn't getting devolved to the to the fullest with that lineup. So, in a very tough moment, they decided to uh, release their old coach and two players and bring in myself and Fanex and Taco. And we had two days to prepare for a tournament, so we did nothing. We were in the middle of an airplane on paints, like, oh, you do this, you do that, just <laughs> trying to do something. And I mean, we got, like you said, 16 old, and then we're like, let's just trust ourselves. Let's just trust, let's just try and now, instead of working on thinking to so much ahead, let's do it step by step. Trust each other on our players' decisions and build off that. And ever since then, that's what's made us get better. A fallen and likes to work like that. I, in practice, I like to help players work like that. During the match, I can help direct them when, when needed. Nowadays, not so much. While we were getting better, I was more. I always needed more. Now these guys know everything they need to do. I mean, they are amazing. They have so much individual talent, and and that's about it. I mean, after eight months, here we are, two times world champions, and we still have a lot to fix in our our way of working and our gameplay. And I think we will be able to to get even better than this. Boy. Even better is going to be difficult because you're the top team in the world now. Oh. But, but you, you always can improve, of course. Uh, what's specifically your role in the team? Uh, you know, as, as you're more like a manager, more like a coach, uh, or yeah, something between, uh, between? We saw you got a strat book, but uh, you don't look like you... Um, uh, Fallen is obviously the, the leader of the team. Yeah. And uh, we saw some coach... Um, Doing more, being more present in the game, you know. And uh, do, do you feel that? Wait, excuse me. Do, do you feel? Uh, do you feel uh, that you're, you're more coaching or cheering? And uh, no, no way. I mean, I am a hybrid of a manager and a coach. I take care of everything they need on the outside. My, I take. I. My main thing is I want them to have the best conditions to do what they can do, and so they can only focus on gaming. But the part that I love is exactly this in-game. I was always an in-game leader along with Fallen back in the day. So we think a lot alike in the way we strat. And I do a lot of it in preparation, trying to see that these details. And I mean, in this final in specific, I didn't have to be so present because things were going well. I'm most called upon when things are in the harder games, such as the VP match, when the G2, when things are getting hard, that's when I need to find the, the little detail and do things that people can't see from inside the game. When it, everything's going well, I mean, there's not much I, I can do. There's not much I need to do because they're taking care of everything. Yeah, <laughs> we saw that. After your win at uh, Columbus Major, uh, we talk about. Um, I talk with a few players, top players, and they say the Brazilian came in and they changed the meta game. They're more aggressive and uh, they they change the entire way to 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 play. we when they're playing against you, they have to, to, to change their way that the European and North American uh, team usually play. Is it something you feel uh, as a team? Do you think like a meta-game leader? Yes, of course. I mean, this is something that, from the way that Fall and myself like to work, because before teams were either, they had the very methodical play style, they would go step by step, they would do everything, or you'd have the envious, which is full on, let's have the individual skill and everything. And what we gather from all of this is we have to, no one was mixing it up and there's no sense in that because if something is easy to predict you can counter that so the way we do it now 
that no one can counter us, no one can predict because one round we're going fast, one we're slow. We're always playing a mind game with everyone else. And I mean, it's pretty obvious that we're ahead of the meta game so far because everyone's trying to copy us. Liquid in this final, they are an amazing team with an amazing run, but a lot of the things they were doing, we saw that were things we were doing three months ago and we learned what was wrong with that that was could be exploited and evolved that. Speaking about Liquid, the team you beat in final, they did a very good tournament, uh, especially because they got simple as a stand-in and everyone, uh, they're very skilled players. Uh, your team is very skilled, of course. But in the final, it was like a gap between the two teams. Did you prepare this game? Did you know everything they're going to do? Or did you just outclass them on the skill level? I mean, it's complicated. There's so many factors that go into a game. I think that the, f the amount of pressure in a final like that can get to the players. When we started making finals, things were a lot harder. We think overthink situations. We, and now it just goes more casual. We just play the game and that's what happens. And I guess that's a little bit what happened with Liquid. They are amazing talent. The, the teams they went through are remarkable. Some of the, the best in the world. And they, today we were able to, since they're so momentum based, they need to get that momentum going to start rolling. We were like that, I'd say, five months ago. And we learned that now how to counter it. We just have to let every round go. There's never a lost match. And it's easy to say, but when you're in the middle of the game to actually have that mentality, my God. So I think when they get that, they will for sure be able to make these consistent results into finals and stuff like that. Okay. You're a uh, you're Brazilian team. Yeah. Everyone ever know that, <laughs> I guess. There's not a lot of team in South America, and uh, we're always speaking about NA, you know, uh, and even uh, even you, some people consider you as an NA team. Do you think in the future, like, you're amazing leaders for the Counter-Strike in Brazil, but all South America, we saw everyone, uh, there's a lot of viewers in Brazil uh, cheering for you and looking, uh, looking at your games. Do you think that we're going to have a real good South America scene soon? Or, uh, uh, are the team already already good? Uh, are we gonna have only the America? No, I mean Brazil has Brazil and all of South America has so much untapped potential. It's just the market over there. It takes more time to grow, and it's no one over there has the the companies, the organizations. They don't invest money, so a player can't give up a job and everything like that to dedicate completely. So. If you can't dedicate completely to your profession, you're never going to be the best, and that's what happens over there. I mean, it's slowly starting. We're going to have events in Brazil now at the end of the year, and the teams, I mean, we've more than proved that we've brought three teams from Brazil over to NA already, and they started doing very well. Us, Immortals, Without, and from other regions, Argentina, they've always been known in that, in back in the old day, to have that talent. They just didn't have the structure. And with Ga we have Games Academy in Brazil and Gameworks Club, which we offer not only to Brazil but to all of South America those conditions to maybe try and get some exposure for them so they can come here or maybe get something invested over there, which would be even better. And slowly it'll get there and it won't be just North America, South America. Every country will have their own region and we will be able to do something a lot better. I hope, I hope too. Speaking about an event in Brazil, we saw uh, your team, everyone described it as a cross friend, almost family, and uh, we saw when we were speaking about with Taco and the group stage, we, uh, we saw you came in with friends, with, with family, with a lot of, uh, of fans, and what will, would it be for you to have a, a major in Brazil? Is, oh. is, is, is it something, yeah, is, maybe it's going to happen soon, and what, what would it mean to you? I mean, if something like that happens, I, I think it would be one of the happiest days of our lives, because for us to win tournaments is amazing, but if we were able to help the whole community in, in a way like that, I mean, that has no price to us. That would for sure be the best thing that we could ever do for in our professional careers, I think. We're looking forward for that. We just have time for one more question. The MVP, everyone speaking about Coursera, of course. He did a very, very good final, very good tournament, very, very impressive. As a, as a manager, as a coach, uh, sometimes people's viewers don't notice some uh, little things, you know. They, they see, oh, Coursera is doing all the kills, is the MVP. 
Do you think there's another player in the team who did a special, uh, special final? I mean, it's hard to single out somebody because everyone has their amazing moments and stuff like that. One map is FNX going off, another is Fall, another. But for me, this tournament, Cold Zero played very well, and Taco was super consistent. Yeah. I mean, his role normally doesn't allow for him to get that many kills, and he did way more than he even should be allowed to in this tournament. So if I had to pick two, this tournament would be them for sure. Well, I'm going to thank you for, uh, for this interview. Wish you good luck for all the rest. You won two major in a row. It's very impressive. Brazil is now on the top on the Counter-Strike uh, counter scene. And it's really, uh, really good to see that. It's, it feels it feel really good to see you, uh, see you play. Well, uh, good night. I, I think you're uh, going to have a nice evening. and uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy it a little bit. You're going to celebrate that. Gonna celebrate. We're looking for you to see you in the next uh, measure, and I wish you good luck and uh, good uh, way back home. Thank you very much. Bye.